Well, I think this is a sensational new hospital, and I think, um, you know, local MP Charlie Elphick will be really proud because he's campaigned very, very hard for this on behalf of the people of Dover. Uh, to finally see it coming to fruition like this, it's a really exciting moment for Dover. Um, and what, I mean, what does it say about uh, the Conservative government and, and the NHS under, uh, under the, the Tories? Um, what it says is, you know, that the big decision we took, which is to protect and increase funding of the NHS, even despite the huge pressure of dealing with the budget deficit we inherited, is paying off and people in Dover can see that the services they're getting are improving and they need to improve because we have this pressure of an ageing population, a million more over 65 than we had at the time of the last election. And that means we need to have more services closer to where people live. So um, I think it's a, a really exciting moment. What, what will people see uh, this change? Obviously you've heard that the nearest hospitals are Margate, uh, Canterbury and um, Ashford. What difference will this make to people's lives? Well, they will find that they don't need to travel to those hospitals as much as they do now because uh, they're able to get a one-stop service here in Dover. So that's what I think is exciting for people about it. But it, it's not just less travel. I think it means that that crucial ability to keep an eye on our most vulnerable older patients is improved by having more hospitals closer to where people live. And why is that so, why is that so important to have? Because, because older people have complex long-term conditions like dementia, like diabetes, um, maybe they're recovering from a stroke, and they need to be constantly monitored and help to stay healthy so that they can live independently at home. And having really good community facilities is a vital part of that. Um, I just, just want to talk, sort of talk uh, general now. Um, say you, you win the election uh, in May. What, what are the next five years like for the, for the NHS? So obviously, it's a, we've, had, I mean, we've had a bad winter and it's, and it's, a, bit, it's a major policy at the, at the moment. Well, what, what the next five years will be about is transforming services to make sure we radically improve the way we look after vulnerable older people. Uh, that is the big challenge for healthcare systems across the world and I want the NHS to be the best in the world at looking after older people and I think we can be and I think this hospital is a good example of how that can happen. Um, and how, how are you going to address uh, things like waiting time? Um... Well we're doing that, uh, the best way to address those issues is by recruiting more doctors and nurses and we've got nine and a half thousand more doctors in this parliament, seven and a half thousand more nurses a huge increase in our capacity and we're doing about a million more operations every year as a result so I would expect that to continue. And, and with, with the deficit at the moment, with the government and the country can cope with more people coming in? Um, as in more immigration? Uh, sorry, as in more, uh, more jobs. More jobs. Well, um, you know, one of the things we're proud of is that under this government we've been creating a thousand jobs every single day and that is creating the wealth and the prosperity that is paying for improvements in our NHS.